Uh, hello, so I'm just going to show how to set up uh, an Invato account, which we need to, in order to um, download or purchase a Team Forest theme. So um, I'll just go to Google here, search for Team Forest, but you can go directly to the address either. So click here. And uh, the actual account sign up I'm not going to do because I've already got an account and it's just going to be a bit awkward, but I'll, it's straightforward. I'll just kind of guide you through it. So you press sign in up here and you press create and be an Envato account. Um, actually, I should just explain that you use an Envato account for any of these Theme Forest, Core Canyon, Video Hive, etc. So um, Theme Forest is the one I'm concerned about at the moment, but these are for other things like uh, that's for code and the videos, obviously audio, and these are for photos and graphics. So uh, you press uh, sign in, create an Envato account, and um, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm not going to. But you would put it for your first name, last name, email. And when you press this button, the next page it's going to bring you to. Um, uh, you create a. You you pick a username, and the password, and um, after that it's just going to um, get you to sign the terms and conditions and to pick a country. I think it is. And you can use it from then, but you will have to go back into your email to confirm that you set it up before you can actually purchase something on it. So that's really the sign in process. And um, like I said, if you uh, get an Envato account, you've got access to all of these other um, marketplaces. Okay, so I'll actually sign into my uh, Envato account here. So I'm going to press sign in and uh, type in my username and password. Okay, so um, it, the next thing I would do would be just search for the theme. So if I pick the Avada theme, for instance, and it's, it's pretty much um, and it's 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 similar to a regular e-commerce thing, but it's a little bit different. So um, for start, this is optional. Um, and if I purchase the theme, I can, this is option as well. Okay, now this is the slightly confusing bit. Um, I can pay by Visa with a two year handling fee, I can pay by PayPal with a two sorry, dollar handling fee, or I can, um, I can add credit if I want to save that. Two dollars, which is kind of handy if you're um, going to be purchasing lots of stuff this way. So you can you can go up here to um, make a deposit, and you can put various deposit deposits on that, and they don't charge you the handling fee. So if I um, press this, it sorry, uh, that's that's the other way of, of adding the uh, these are the figures that you can put on uh, your account. Um, but, uh, so I, I would want to do this. Or um, PayPal, and uh, note the the VAT charge is included in there as well. So I'm not actually going to check this out. It's fairly straightforward after that. But um, if you did want to, at that point, give you know um, the two the, the two things that you might want to do um, would be to download it or to to set up an API. Um, so uh, if I press downloads, you can see the themes that I purchased here. And I would just press download. And if you were giving this to somebody or download it for yourself, you'd normally pick that one there. That would download everything. Um, or whichever whichever theme you purchased, you would see it ah, come up here and download it. Um, but there is also um, a way of doing. Uh, I'll just put this on hold because I don't know where it is. Um, okay, so sometimes you're developing a new launch your API key. So in that case, you'd press settings here in your. Um, so I've gone to my my uh, actually I've gone straight to settings there I think, but I went through the dashboard and into settings, and from there I pressed API keys. And actually at the time, they they seemingly have a new um, API setup, so this may have changed by the time you've you've gotten to it. But in any case, you'd find the API um, keys page. And you can just um, generate an API key, 
the way you do that is you just um, I'm just going to call this uh, or whatever you can call it just a, just a label if I press generate API key that's the API key and you would just copy that API key and send it to whoever needed it or if you needed it yourself for a plugin and uh, just remove that one Uh, so that's it there the other thing that some people might need uh, is in the download section I think um, I can't, maybe I'm wrong um, so I think it might be on the actual website website belong to the um, so some of the themes have purchase codes and uh, I don't I don't oh it's here that's it so you would go in here and it downloaded the purchase code here uh, in my downloads. So if I just open that up, uh, that's the purchase code. So you would send that to whoever needed the purchase code or this is the actual purchase code itself. So those are the two codes that you'd need, um, the purchase code and the, um, uh, the API code uh, key. And some of them actually do have their own I think some of them have their own purchase codes as well, uh, or maybe I could be wrong about that. Maybe originally they did, and and now they're better at doing it, because these are all individual people who do these themes. So that's about it, and um, that's great. <laughs>